Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Matt from iOS Betas here, today with an installation tutorial of the brand new release to iOS 7. Now, what this is going to do is show you from start to finish how to download and install uh, any version of iOS 7 onto your corresponding device. It's going to be a long video, but I'm going to go through and run this down once so everyone knows what they're doing. I'm running this on a Mac, which I assume most of you are. However, the process is just about the same on a PC, except the software that you initially download is a .dmg. You're going to need to convert that to a .ipsw or something that can read that. If you go on to my channel, I actually have a video showing you how to convert a .dmg into a .ipsw or how to extract it using a simple software. I will post the link for that video down below. I did it with iOS 6 and it's the same process with iOS 7. So without any further ado, let's get going here. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is get your device right here and you're going to want to plug it into your computer. So I'm using an AT&T GSM iPhone 5. Now unfortunately at the moment Apple did something a little weird this year and they made it so that you could only install uh, iOS 7 beta on these current devices at the moment. So the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S, all versions of the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch. Now, don't worry, if you have an iPad, an iPad mini, uh, an iPad 4th gen, 5th gen, whatever it may be, those are coming very soon. That's what they said uh, sometime this summer. But right now, the operating system is only ready for handheld devices, and it's coming soon to iPad. They've never done that before, so if you've signed up for a registration for your iPad, um, sit tight, it's coming. I will be keeping everyone updated on that. But right now, it's just for these devices, iPhone 5, 4S, 4, and the iPod Touch 5th Gen, unfortunately. Uh, no earlier generations of the iPod Touch. But anyways, let's get going here. So once you've downloaded your software, either through IMZDL or beta ISO or whatever it may be, I'll, there'll be lots of links that you have downloaded from, or it may be from us, depending if we decide to host the links themselves. You're going to go ahead and I'll just pull up my downloads folder. So as you see on Safari here, this is it, iOS 7 beta for the iPhone 5. This is the 428 model. Um, I, there's also, I'll post a link to figure out if you have a GSM iPhone, you want the 428 model. If you have a CDMA iPhone, you want the 429 model. 4S are all the same. GSM, again, is like AT&T in the US. This is Verizon, a CDMA. So AT&T is the 428, and then Verizon is the 429. There's a link that helps you uh, figure out which phone you have and which software you need to download. So I've installed the correct one. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up, let it load here, and then it'll extract it. And you see right here that it is a simple .ipsw file. So once you get that, you can go ahead and you can pull that. I like to put it on my desktop. As you see, it takes a second here. I have SSD, so it doesn't take too long. There we go. So now it's on my desktop. You can leave it from here, but it's up to you. And then what you're going to do is go ahead and open up iTunes. So I'm going to go over here, and we're going to go into iTunes once I get this loaded. And it should pick up your phone. We're going to leave that alone. All right, so here it goes, it's loading. Again, make sure you have your iPhone plugged in. I suggest putting into airplane mode too, just so you don't get any disturbances while you're running this. We're gonna go ahead and stop syncing this, if we can. Just kidding. We'll let this finish syncing. Uh, I'm gonna click away from that. And then what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is make sure you're on the most current version of iTunes. That's also important. So if you go to preferences here, or actually about iTunes, when this pops up, it will say 11.0.4. So that's the most newest one. You can simply install that by just going to iTunes.com, clicking download, and that is the most recent version of iTunes. I believe it works with anything above 10.7 or something like that, but I recommend that you have the uh, most updated version of iTunes. So anyways, that aside, let your phone just sync up here and back up just like it normally would. Uh, just try and keep your one device plugged in the one that you'll be using. So see here, here it is, my phone is all done. If you want to go ahead, you can click back up or you can right click and click sync. Um, mine's all done with that. So we're gonna go ahead and on a Mac, you're gonna to wanna to click shift, I believe. Uh, we'll see if I'm right here and check for update or maybe it's option. It's one of these. There it is, all right. So option on a Mac, so if you do option, check for update, and then if you're on a Windows, you wanna do shift, check for update. So option, check for update, and you're gonna get this dialog box here or this uh, finder box, and you're gonna to wanna to click your software and click open. So now, this is important. You have to make sure that your UDID is registered. Again, if you have gotten this video in an email from us or something like that, that means you're already registered. Uh, iOSbetas.com, that's where you can get it done. 
There's two packages. The service is great. If you haven't already heard, check out the website. You need to have your UDID registered or you will not be able to install iOS 7 on your phone. Please make sure that you have the installation email from us and then you can go ahead and do this. So I'm going to go ahead here and click update and it's going to extract software and start going to iOS 7. Now, be reminded that when you go to iOS 7, you it's fairly hard to go back. You can downgrade to 6.1 point whatever, but you will lose any data that you have incurred um, from moving from iOS 6 to 7. So anything that you uh, have done on your phone while running iOS 7 will be lost. So I suggest if you're going to go to iOS 7 beta, be ready to stay on it for the rest of the summer until it comes out final release. Now, one, if you stay on iOS beta all the way till the final release, your data will be fine. You won't lose anything. But downgrading is where it starts to get tricky. So here we go. As you see on our phone right here that it's just going ahead and loading up. Now I'm just going to let that do its thing. And then when it's done, it shouldn't take too long here. It's got to install the software on your phone. Um, but again, just let that do its thing. Try not to touch it. Don't unplug your phone or anything along those lines. I'll stay on and just talk about everything. So again, iosbetas.com is where you can do it. Uh, if you're registered, you're good for the rest of the year. And you should only have to do this installation process once the rest of the beta updates, beta 2, beta 3, beta 4, and so on and so forth, can be done OTA or over the air uh, just through the settings app on your iPhone. All right, so it looks like this is my first time doing this, just uh, to give you a fair warning. So it looks like we even have a new status bar here for the iPhone, or maybe I'm seeing that incorrectly. But uh, again, this is iOS 7, really beautiful revamp um, from iOS 6. It's the biggest change to the OS since the release of the iPhone, which I think is really cool. So it's verifying the updated iPhone software. Again, this is on the first day. Usually it takes a little bit longer because so many people are trying to install this. So... I'm going to go ahead and let this do its thing, and then I'll come back and we'll uh, visit you guys when it's done. So this is it. Just let your phone do its thing, and then I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I am back now, and the installation is successful. So I'm going to go here and turn on my phone. Moment of truth. Ta-da. There you have it. That is iOS 7 in all of its glory. So if I go ahead here, open this. This is the first time I'm seeing this, by the way enter my passcode. It asked me to sign into iCloud. I'm just going to click escape for now. And escape. All right, so there it is. That is iOS 7. All you have to do is just leave your phone. It took me about uh, 10 minutes and then it went ahead, uh, turned itself back on. You'll hear it make the zzz zzz for it's uh, plugged back in and then it'll load back up. And that is iOS 7. Simple as that. So that's how you install it. If you have any questions, it works best to tweet me at iOS betas um, on Twitter or to email me support at iOS betas. The team will try and reply as fast as possible. We are fairly busy right now, but I hope this helps in getting it up. This is a one tutorial video I hope to make and just be able to use it for the rest of the time. Again, if you have a device that's not yet supported, hang tight. It will be coming soon. I promise that's what they said, uh, but there still are lots of devices that are supported out there. So stay tuned to the site and this channel for any more videos. But that was how to install iOS 7 in one video. Hope you're able to follow it. Hope you have the best of luck. And I'll see you guys soon. All right. See you later.